It's time for Eyewitness Sports. The Vancouver Canucks were on the ice this afternoon for Game 3 of the Stanley Cup qualifiers against the Minnesota Wild. And Zach McEwen made his NHL playoff debut this afternoon. He played five playoff games for the Comets back in 2018. He was also with the Comets a lot this year. And the Canucks scored first in the game. Where it was Brock Bozier who put Vancouver up 13-49 into the second period. Then Antoine Roussel, who scored in the third, made it 2-0. He spent some time in Utica this year as well. Up next, Game 4 of the Best of Five series. It's an elimination game now. That's tomorrow, 10.45 p.m. Eastern Time. And speaking of hockey, the Canucks ECHL team Kalamazoo Wings has signed rookie defenseman Clark Kuster, who was an alternate captain for St. Cloud State this past year. He could eventually rise to the Comets. And also, Utica City FC has signed former MLS player Tyler Turner. In baseball tonight, the Yankees closed out a four-game series with the Phillies. Jordan Montgomery made his second start of the season. He got a win in his first. Next, the Yankees play tomorrow at Tampa Bay. That's at 6.40 p.m. In college sports, the NCAA canceled Division III fall championships yesterday, and that includes any fall sports that have the possibility of being played this coming spring instead. And as the focus now turns toward conference tournaments only, Utica College football head coach Blaise Fagiano says the Empire 8 is working on putting together a schedule. If we were to play four or five games, you know, sometime in the month of April, at a time that worked around, you know, all the other sports, because now you're going to have men's women's across, you're going to have men's women's soccer, field hockey also playing. I think it would be great if we could play on Friday nights, if we could play Sunday afternoons, whatever works out best for the E8, you know, maybe we can have a Believe Bowl, which would be great. Fagiano says the conference is looking to play four or five games in April, and he says this short schedule would allow players to keep their year of eligibility and also allow the team to rest enough and be ready for the 2021 season, hopefully just a few months after that. So for now, that's all for sports. Be sure to check out CNYHomepage.com for all of your top sports stories, highlights, and scores. There's more Eyewitness News after the break. So stay friendly and stay tuned.